Hello the folks and welcome back to the Neil Robertson Pro Career on Snooker 19. Today it's time for part 18 of season 3 and part 135 of the series as a whole. And so today's episode we play in the last 16 of the Evergrande China Championship. We played against Ryan Day in the last episode and beat him by 3 frames to 1. Let's be honest, for those of you who watched the video, you'll know that Ryan Day was, well, crap I think is the word. He, he couldn't get a break together at all and we weren't great but I think that's definitely... Uh, t taught us that we've got to be our A game and today we're playing against Ball Rungbing and one of my favourite players on the tour world champion of course in 2015 so two world champions facing off here and let's have a look at how we've played against Bingham in the past so we've played against him three times and at the moment it's 3-0 to us so we've played him funnily enough in all last 16 so we beat him at the Daffet Masters last 16 and the Gibraltar Open in the last 16 by three frames to two and we beat him by three frames to nil in the Coral Players Championship in Season 1. Today, it's our fourth meeting against Ball Run Bingham. And hopefully, we can make it 4 nil. It's definitely a good chance. Uh, I'm happy with this draw at the last 16. There have been a few last 16s that have been real stinkers against Selby, Ronnie O'Sullivan, Judd Trump. So this is a nicer draw, but by no means easy. I hinted that Stuart Bingham, world champion, very good player... So we could be knocked out if we're not on our A game. We certainly weren't against Ryan Day, so we need to wake up here and play a lot better than we did in that game. But I'd just like to say thank you for your support. It's been absolutely tremendous recently. I know that we've been on this whole lockdown thing with coronavirus, and it isn't nice. It's really not a nice time to be in, and hopefully my commentaries and snooker content and all the other content on my channel just provide a little bit of positivity while this is all thank going you, on. Ladies and gentlemen, the first frame, Neil Robertson to break. And that's all the coronavirus talk we've got today, I promise. Right. First break then. It's best of five. First player to three to get through to the quarterfinal. I'd imagine, I'm not sure, I would imagine it would probably go to the best of seven for quarters or semis. Probably more likely to be semis. And then maybe go to nine for the final. Again, it could all be five and then seven uh, at the final, which is what usually happens, but... Again, it could be nine, but that's a decent reply from Stuart Bingham. You know, we always know our break-offs are always quite safe, but that's solid from Bingham. That's brilliant. Great shot. He looks like he's trying to get the cue ball tight on the cushion here. Oh, we played that with a bit more pace than we intended, but it's okay. Oh, this, yeah, that red has come in just about enough, I'd say, for him not to be tempted, but he still might be. No. It's coming just enough, so we get away with that. That wasn't the best shot in the world. But whatever you do, don't hit the blue. But I'll tell you something, he's got away with that. He very nearly got the snooker. Uh, if he'd have hit that a little bit thinner, he could well have got the snooker on there, uh, being behind the yellow. So an interesting safety battle to get us started in this match. Don't think we're going to leave anything there. A little bit harder and we'd have got him behind the yellow. God, nobody wants to be near the yellow, do they? This is developing into a fascinating safety battle. Whatever you do, don't hit the blue. And he's got away with it again. I mean, uh, that's the. I suppose when the consequences aren't going to be too bad, then it's okay. But I'm just amazed that he keeps getting away with hitting this blue. And uh, that's a decent shot. Nicely back up to the ball climb. But I don't see an end to this because all the balls are in quite a peculiar position where if you just play thin on the one, I can't see an opportunity really it's developing itself. So... Somebody's got to make a real cock up. Or we could leave that one. I'm not going to play it because I think that it's too much of a risk. I usually play those, but with the fact it's only really that ball on, I think it's probably worth just uh, leaving it. Oh, that looks good, mm, but not quite. Got the snooker, but... We've left it safe, so good shot. Oh, and Bingham's made the first mistake. Risk, though, because it could leave uh, a few potential chances on, but I feel like this is a chance we ought to give a go, and it's there, and it's a nice split on the reds. We need to hit that with a bit of power just to get out of that zone where we could be snooked and not on a colour. Fine on the pink, though. Absolutely fine. Just have a look what goes to this corner pocket after we pot it. I look like an idiot. 
Yep, that red will go. So we've got first dibs in this first frame. Seven. And if you want to go to the middle pocket, it's worth a go because the pink's gone on the blue spot, and we all love no, sorry, all know how I love to play on the blue. And seeing as the pink's on its spot, well, we'll call it pink today. Eight. to check this out. Should be straightforward enough. But I think we've actually snookered ourselves, haven't we, on getting on that red? Yeah. Well, we've not snookered ourselves, but we've hampered any chance of getting on that red. That was a bad shot, really. the best shot so hopefully we can get out of this that's not too bad because it's right on the cushion so it makes queuing a little bit awkward Neil Robertson, I don't think that red on the cushion goes past the black and he's potentially going for a half chance but just the safety He's left that red. He's left about the straightest red you could possibly hope for. Got to play this with power though, or else we could be in trouble. Tricky shot here. Oh! Wow! Oh, I don't believe that. I just thought it would miss the pocket, but we misjudged it, and now it's Bingham who's in. Wow, this has been an unbelievable start. I don't even think we've been out of our rhythm, to be honest. I just think it's been a very peculiar frame so far. Seven. Not very often we go in off with a shot like that. This should be pretty straightforward. Fourteen. So Bingham's got a chance. What's he going to go for? He's going to, yeah, I thought he'd go for this one. Didn't know every take on the tricky one on the cushion. Play a bit of right hand side, then pots the black. 22. So black must go on blue spot. Yeah, that's correct. 23. But I won't say it's cut and dry that he's going to win this frame yet. A little bit awkward here. That's and he's even sword. more awkward now because he's hit the blue on his way back. 25. So just a safety for Stuart Bingham. Stuart not Bingham, a bad one, 25. but not great either. And he's left a half chance. Lordy. A bit of a shot to nothing. And it's there. Good pot. Gets that dodgy red off the cushion as well, so that's a win-win. Not left on anything easy, though, here. To get on a red. I think I'm just going to play on the cushion, to be honest, and go for the red on the cushion. Seems the safest one to go for in this circumstance. Although we could go for that one, but no, I'm going to get rid of the red on the cushion. No, I'm not, actually. I'm going to change my mind. I am going to go for this red. So, okay, we've got a few options here. This needs to be played right. That's okay. Very well played. I'll take that. Not so great that time round. 
Not going to leave too much though if we don't pot it, are we? So. Just worried about whether it goes on that cushion. You know what? We're going to go for it. We were right too. Good pop. Not really what he was intending. He but was yeah, it's uh, kind of a bit dodgy now. Unfortunately, we we're trying to get to this red. We've overplayed it. So not the cleanest start for us here. But I think it's probably worth going for this one on the cushion again. It only leaves the one that we're playing. Shot along the cushion. Nice and soft looks good. And it's there. Great pot. Well played with the rest. Does leave the issue of, ooh, does that black go? I mean, I'd say usually it would. But I'm not going to risk it. No way. So, just give this an absolute whack as hard as we can. And get it down the table. And back in the position that we should have been a long time ago. For the red. But again, not great. Depends if this goes. We'll have to see. I don't think side's going to work here. Hmm... This res doesn't come off the cushion. Has done, but it's still an awkward cut, I'd say. Oh, interesting choice shot there. Tries to get it safe. And has he? Is there a way past the yellow? We could have played that better. We can, we can cut this in, I think. Nice and soft though, just to make sure. Oh, that's unfortunate for Bingham. Ouch. Well, it's been an an the the de. I'm get my words out, Christ. This has been an unorthodox frame, to say the least, at the moment. He just wants to slot this into the middle pocket. What's the position like on a red? Not a great split. Hmm, unfortunate. Not great on anything there. It's been a weird frame, and it continues to be a weird frame. So we're 18 ahead. With 51 left on the table, so it's still wide open. She wants to get this on the cushion. Might still go for the red. Neil Robertson, six. So everyone wants to take the long pot on. It's a risk. It certainly is. He just wants to ensure he gets this cue ball tight to the cushion. Oh, what's he played there? Not a bad shot, you know. Not too bad. But I'm going to have a punt on this long one. So the long red to the corner pocket. Oh, unfortunate. So close. He needed some luck there, and he didn't get it. And all of a sudden, from none of the reds being on, he could tackle any of them here. He's going to go for the one he's closest to, obviously, but... One. Mm, he's got a real chance now as Bingham. I think it was worth going for the shot, so I don't regret taking it on. Three. But just a little bit unfortunate. So close, but with those shots, if it hits both cushions, Four. it's game over. So some good stuff from Stuart Bingham here. Last red. So it's going to be fairly close down to the colours. So if he goes for the pink, which is probably the most probable shot, he'll be four behind with 27 remaining. So if he clears the colours up, it's going to be Bingham who takes the first frame. So green will put him ahead. Can't see much issue with him winning this frame now. That brown is missable though. He's taking it on to the left corner. But it's there. 23. Great shot to get on the blue, really nice. He's attempting to sink this into the left corner pocket. 28. So just the pink needed. And it's Stuart Bingham 30. who wins the first frame. 41. And the first frame, Stuart Bingham. That is the frame. 
A bizarre frame there. I think that's definitely one that could have gone either way. Thank you. But I'm not too worried. Could do winning this frame though. That's a cracking break off from from Stu. What's the safety like? Doesn't look bad to me. Leaves a half chance. A little bit awkward though. Is he going to have a go? Or is he going to leave it? No, nope, he's having a go. And it's a bit easier than I thought it would be actually. Down on the table. And he's playing it soft. They don't usually miss it when they play it soft. That and that's a good pot. Great start for Stuart Bingham. But out of position already, I think. Well, yep, so just right. a safety. Just got the eight points on the board, and that was it. Pace is the key with this shot. What's our look like? Needs to come in a bit. Mm, it didn't. But I think I think the red, yeah, the red will go here. So not the best start to the second frame at all. I just think we've been a little bit unlucky so far, to be honest. It's a long way back, though, if Stuart Bingham goes and wins this frame. Oh, he's left that a bit more awkward than he wanted to. I think he can get to the pink, though. But he's going for the yellow. Hmm. It's not a top position. He's just going for this red. And he's got it. Great pot. The gap was there, but it was a little bit awkward than I think. More awkward than he wanted. That's a nice, subtle split there. Oh, great pot on the red. Stuart Bingham. As opposed to Ryan Day, looks in some good form here. We've got to get on with it. and You could say we're not going to have another chance this frame. And ultimately, it's us to break next time out. So if that goes wrong, that could be it for the match. Mm, end of break. I don't know what his thinking was there. Stuart Bingham, 44. Very odd. But here's a starter for us. On the this red. And it's there. Great pot. Mm, I've applied that. It says nicely done, but it's not really the sort of queuing I'd want, ideally. No, it won't go past the blue, will it? I think, yeah, I think we just have to play the red and then hope for the best here. Gently does it. Ah, that's okay in the end. Absolutely fine. Don't want to overplay this one either. Looks okay, just. 16. Get the pink back on its spot. 17. Leave our options open as well from here. Twenty-three. I'm just going to get rid of this red. Why not? Doesn't hurt. Twenty-four. You lose confidence a little, don't you, if you're behind.
Oh, that's a nice shot. Just about did what I hoped it would do. But I only just did that. It was risky. But just keep our focus for a little while longer and hopefully we can overturn this. And steal the second frame. This is a bit awkward though. How do you get on a red from here? Looking to play this with a lot of power. Hmm, nowhere near. Didn't think we were going to get the really split there. But as long as we don't snooker ourselves, that's okay. So we've clawed back a little bit of an advantage. 37. You'd think it should be simple enough to play a safety here. So we're 15 points behind Mr. Bingham. We've 43 left on the table. This could do with having the legs to go behind the yellow. It does. It's a nice shot. That's a fine snooker. Well played. Awesome. Neil Robertson, 37. But he's got out. Oh, did he hit the pink first? No, he got out of it. And he got out of it I well. Out of the snooker, but there is a difficult pot available. He's going for it. Keep the cue ball down the table just in case this goes pear-shaped. But it's there. Great shot. As you can see, I mean, unless it come up back up to the pocket, we wouldn't have left much on. Hence why this is a bit awkward now. Yes, he's taking the pot on. Oh, wow, we've overplayed that. He'll be oh. Would you believe that? Trying to play this as soft as possible while still hitting the red. I'm hoping we can get this down to the, the cushion. We just play just the... Well, we've missed it. We either missed it or we cut it very finely there. But I think it was the latter. Uh, sorry, I think it was the first of those. Not really the result yeah, after. missed. So he's put us back in. Neil Robertson, four. Stuart Bingham, four. Free ball. Well, it's a free ball. But as I understand it, it's just a free ball for well, Bingham, isn't it? He's going to attempt the swerve here. That's what he wants to do first time out. Mm, it's not great at all. He's but we got out of it. Fail, I think this is a half chance. I think Bingham's got a big chance now to go and win this second frame. Need to wake up to the possibility that we could be out. He's looking at this red. But he's missed the red. And that is a poor shot from Stuart Bingham. He gets away with it in a sense. But wow, that was... Uh, I mean, yeah. Should have potted that and gone and won the frame from it. Pace is key. I won't complain about an opportunity here, though. At all. So Black's there, what's the gap? He got an extra four points, didn't he? So, it's about 12, 11. No, seven's the gap. Well, that's nice to see. Lower than I thought the gap would be. And it's just an ordinary. We did this plenty of times in the last tournament. A normal clearance of the colours made even easier, in fact, by the fact that the brown is close to the middle pocket. Which allows a nice cut shot. Didn't really factor in position on the blue though, did I? I want this to drop into the centre pocket. Wow, that's some comeback. I agree. I thought he was dead and buried in the frame, but he really has. Shut I'd shut up just off. yet, gents. <laughs> We've left a awkward few pots on now.
depends. I don't think the pink will pass the, pass the black. So I think I've got an idea of what I might do. I'm going to try and position this so the pink can go to the middle. Big few, few shots though here for our match. Blue's there. Come on, this needs to run. Mm, it's not that bad, you know. This just needs to go in. Come on, pink. Great pot. Absolutely awesome. Uh, I'm sorry, what, is, is this... Must be locked down now one's here. Huh. Anyway, a great return. I didn't expect that whatsoever, but a great return. Two exciting frames so far that it took nearly 25 minutes between them. But after two frames, it's one frame apiece. And maybe that can give us the inspiration and the kick in the backside we need to push on here. This is pretty close. High stakes in the China Championship. Hundred and fifty K prize money for winning it. We're nowhere near that yet. But every frame matters, every match matters. And I think getting a lead here would be great. We've got the first opportunity, that's the first red potted, so can we get a frame winning break? It's gonna to be tough, but there are a few reds on. This shot's a little bit awkward, but I think we just play the Browns to the middle pocket. And then well, see what our position's like after that. And it's not terrible, but it's not great at the same time. So, a bit of a shot's enough in here. Certainly don't want to open up the Reds if we can help it with this shot. <laughs> this is really tricky. It's there though, great pot. Very happy with the position here. Six. The split looks good to me. It's not a bad shot, you know. Thirteen. I'm gonna say hello to this red up the top of the table. In real life, you wouldn't go for this. Half a chance here. But in game, it's just that bit easier. Tremendous potting. What about that for a positional shot? Perfect. 14. Just wants to sink this into the left corner pocket. It's a nice chance. In it goes. He's right on top of his game at the moment. So 20. pink goes to yellow spot. And this is definitely a good chance. Stuart Bingham will definitely be kicking himself because we were talking in the last frame about, you know, fearing that it could well be game over. If Stuart Bingham goes 2 0 up, then we might not have another chance. If he'd been presented with this chance in this frame, for example. But it's actually him who might have the head scratching to do here. But uh, another tricky shot here. Disappointed with that. I said it, didn't I? We've missed it. Neil That's annoying. Twenty-six. He's looking to pop this into the right corner. One. Six. Mm, he's not ideal on the black, certainly to split the red. So he's going for. Oh, oh, you idiot! Huh. No wonder he wasn't ideal on the black, but he's certainly not ideal on it now. So he's just going to play up to it, and, uh, well, hello, Stu, there's a, there's a pot on there. <coughs> That's uh, not Stuart Bingham's best safety ever. I'll tell you something, we really got away with that. Don't know what on earth he was doing there. Split the reds twice, and I think we should have a great opportunity now. Wow. Yeah, the tide has really changed in this match. Obviously in our favour. 
Two bonkers shots from Bingham. That's his new nickname, Bonkers Bingham. <laughs> And he just dropped in, you know. 17. I was kind of thinking before taking that on that it could go wrong. But my instinct said just go for it. And we were just about glad that we did. 22. 23. So remember, we already got 26 points in this frame from that one break we had earlier. Well, he's looking at potting this into the right corner pocket. But every ball puts us close to being in the lead of this match for the first time. Great Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. And the black won't quite do it, but the black and red certainly will. Nice shot there. And the red will secure the frame. Nicely done. That should be it. No real way for his opponent to win the frame now. I believe me, I've been in Bingham's position so many times, and it's horrible. Knowing that this could well be 3 0 now, and it's not. Goodness me, have we gotten away with that in that frame? Not such a great position on the black, but I think because we have got the gap, it's not too much a risk. And it's there, so we ought to have a bit more confidence. 50. Nicely positioned for the blue here. 51. You go for the blue if you want, I won't. Well, he's taking it on to the left corner. Fifty-five. He's playing the pot here. Fabulous effort. That's a great pot. Won't hurt to get a bit aligned with the table, will it? Ahead of these last two frames. Practice makes perfect. Well, I'm not surprised he's taking on the long pot here. No surprises there. Long pots are his speciality. We are starting to look good here. This is a little bit trickier than I would have hoped. Just Might as well still go for it though. Out. It's there. Great pot. Not so great in terms of our position. Definitely recover that though. This would be a great clearance. Fairly sure all from that crazy black that Bingham decided to get up against. Get behind it and it just wouldn't work. Doesn't want to over hit this. Nine times out of ten he was always going to leave a sniff on that red. There haven't been many occasions where I've had to clear the pink ball from the... Uh, Yellow spot, we'll give this a good whack, try and get back down the table for the black. Oh, we have got down the table, but left a very awkward shot on it. I mean, it's not as awkward as I thought it would be, actually. I thought it was going to come right down above the black.
but a good pot and a very good clearance. And with a break of 89, from only being 1 0 down a little while ago, we've taken control and we lead Stuart Bingham with two frames to go as a maximum by two frames to one. He has, but it's only a slender lead. Thank you, the fourth frame. Stuart Bingham to break. So, what's the break off like? Leaves a chance. Well, he's taking the red on. That's a good opening red. And it's there. So this is a good chance. One. Couldn't get straighter on the blue if you try, could you? Wow. It's definitely a plant on there. Not going to go for that though, I'm going to go for this red. Plants can just go wrong, can't they? So, I'd rather not. And that's just slipped in. Nice. Not the best position, so we're probably going to have to go for a bulk colour. Yeah, go for the green. He's aiming to sink this into the right corner. That's a great pot. Simply wonderful. And that wasn't really what I was planning for, but. He does the job. I think sometimes you just know it's going to go right, so it's okay. But I bet this cue ball's a bit, a little bit awkward, yeah. Oh, it pains me that someone was paid to program Neil Files to say that every time the cue ball goes a bit skew if. <laughs> hmm. I wonder how close to the cushion you have to be for Neil Falls to say that. Better check the blue goes before I take the shot here. And it does. Or else we could be a little bit awkward. 17. We know what a prolific long potter he is, so I'd assume he'd take this on. We've really come into our own, haven't we, the last few frames? Quality queuing there. Really good. I'm hoping that we can make this a match winning break. Certainly got the chance to. 23. That's okay. 26. Aiming for the left corner here. What a top shot that is. Great queuing there. 27. I'm not quite getting a straight on the blue as I'd like. Just about drops. But it was well, worth right. it for the position we got. Break of 32 feels like a lot more than that. Go for what we can get. Don't go for anything too elaborate and fancy. Just accumulate the points where we can. 38. Where's the cue ball? Oh, it's okay. Thirty-nine. Be pretty unlucky for it to go into the middle pocket from there. It has to be said. Just try and develop something here. We have. He's an 
expert long potter, and he's taking this on. We're pretty good at comebacks. I know we're only one frame down, but after we started to actually click that, oh, Bingham can actually... And I don't think it's necessary. It's not a factor of I don't play very well just because I think I've got the measure of a player. Not at all. I just think that something switches on when you think, oh, I need to start playing well and seriously now and not take any bad shots. Five reds left from the table. Now four, so the colour will secure it. Potential for a century as well, if we get this right. Just the pink ball now. And it's there. So barring snookers, we're through to the next round. Bingham played well at the start, but... I think as soon as we got into our mojo and sorted ourselves out. He was never really in it, but that's not the best shot. Well, he's looking at potting this into the right corner pocket. But it's there, and it's come way too quickly over to the other cushion. We can go for a fine cut on the red, but actually I think we've snookered ourselves on it because the pink will go back on its spot. So we might as well just for a bit of a a chance go for this pot. Didn't line it up well at all, but it's worth a go. And it's there. You never know if you don't try. He's looking for the pot into the right middle. Ooh, we've missed the pink. We just played to play a bit aggressive there, but that doesn't matter. That break of whatever it was, of uh, 72, is enough to put us through to the next round. Another three frames to one win, and yeah, it was good enough. I'm very happy with that, and that puts us through to the quarterfinal. The furthest we've got in a tournament, which has been a ranking tournament, of course, we got to the Portland Classic quarterfinal, so come to Ding Jun Wee. And who have we got in this quarter-final? Who's it going to be? Oh, Ooh, Stephen Maguire. For a prize of £32,000. Again, I feel like we're getting a good draw. If uh, this is having anything to go by, if we've got Ryan Day, Bingham and Maguire in the first two rounds, then we must obviously have David Gilbert in the semi and uh, Sean Murphy in the final. But that is another good draw. And I think that, again, not getting cocky, but I think that We've got a real good chance to beat Stephen Maguire and get through to the semi-final. I mean, 32 grand just for getting through to the semi-final. We've accumulated 20,000 already. I really feel, feel like this tournament, now at least, is a seriously good opportunity. But uh, tune in next time for our match against Stephen Maguire. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to get a notification when that video does come out. Leave a like if you enjoyed as well. That uh, helps massively for the channel and comment your thoughts as well. Thank you very much for your company. Hope you're all staying safe at the moment. Uh, but until the next time, I will see you guys later. Goodbye for now.